Hey, everybody, what's going on out there? Man, it's been a long time, y'all. It's been a long time. I know I've let my fans down because, hey, I've been sick for almost two years. I mean, I've had, since my last fishing tournament, I've had back surgery. I've had heart surgery about three or four times. Several heart calves. This year, it started out with a bang. I wound up doing pretty good. Got to feeling bad. Had more heart issues and had a new... Uh, machine put in a biventricular recirculation generator, which it's a big old joker right here. It's about about that long. So I'm doing pretty good right now. I actually feel good. I'm doing better. So there's a lot of things they can do to your old ticker if you got problems. So I'm 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 really I'm really doing a lot better. So and I hadn't been making a lot of videos, and I know that I should have been checking on y'all, and I have I have not been checking on y'all like I should. I mean. I've just went through some tough times, y'all. I mean, I mean, man, it's it's been tough on me and my family, trying to get me back up and going and taking care of me. But I've had great doctors and great surgeons and a lot of love from the Lord, and I think that uh, I, I, I seriously think that He intervened and helped me a little bit too. Uh, they brought in a special team of heart doctors in to work on me, and they didn't have to work on me. I mean, they still had to do some work, but I mean, they didn't have to do what they was intended on doing. I kind of just, I don't know. I don't know. Thank God might have healed me. But that ain't about this video today. As, as y'all know, I lost my other Facebook page due to copyright violations with a, with a, with the college football games. So I lost all my followers, which was well over 50,000 followers net worldwide. And, it's just been a mess for me to get back going. So we're back up and we're running. And we have our fishing tournament on June the 1st. It's dead late coming up. That's one thing. So, But I'm going to talk to y'all a minute, y'all. Uh, how many of y'all on the news and all been seeing this, this stuff about synthetic foods? Them artificially making meats, chicken, pork, uh, beef. It's incredible what they're doing nowadays. I mean, they can technically take a... Uh, they, what they're using is cancer cells. I've seen this on the news. So they're using cancer cells because they grow fast. They rapidly grow. So they're mixing a little DNA and a little fat and a little tissues of cows and pork, and, you know, and pigs and, and chickens. And they're printing out. You, that's right, you heard me. They're printing out in a 3D printer. They're printing out meat and meats. Well... These meats grow. These pieces of chicken grow. They grow. They make meat. I don't know if it's healthy for you or not, but the U.S. government says it's good for you, and they turned it loose over here. So what it is, an alternative to uh, farmers and all raising cattle and everything. So, I, boys, I guess that's going to put y'all slap out of business raising them cows because, I mean, why are they going to buy a cow or beef from a you know, from a stockyard or something, when they can just get it out of a lab somewhere. But that's that's what's going on in our country. Now, I posted a video off of TikTok on my page last night. And that ain't only where I've seen this, but I, that that shows you right there how they make that meat and everything, how, how they how they come up with it and how they do it. So it's a group of scientists from China uh, that, that come up with it in the U.S., and they're implementing it over here. So... Last night, what I was doing is my wife made some some stuff, and we was talking about this, about the synthetic foods that they're using to, you know, basically put the farmers out of business. Whether you're a cow farmer, or grain farmer, whatever you are, they're basically trying to put you all out of business. So I heard on the news where the state of Florida's governor and uh, Florida's, I guess, whatever you call them, House, Senate, I mean, what what you mean? I don't know, uh, state legislature, whatever you call them folks. They passed a law in Florida not to sell synthetic goods or meats in the state of Florida. It's against the law. Any companies that uh, are caught creating it, selling it, like Walmart, anybody like that, uh, they pull in their business license. Now, they're going to be fooled because I'm fixing, I'm fixing to tell you why. So, like I was saying, I mean, this is crazy. So, 
Let me read you a few things here, then I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. You've got some of this lab-grown meats probably in your pantry right now, and you didn't even know it. That's right. You probably got some in your pantry right now, or on your, in your cabinets, that you did not know you was eating, but you're eating it. So, first off, let, let me tell you what it is. Like, like I said, it's made from cancer cells. Okay, the USDA defines it as foods that contain genetic materials that has been modified through a lab techniques and cannot be created through conventional breeding or found in nature. Bioengineered food ingredients include corn, canola, soybeans, sugar beet, and some other properties as well as cancer cells and animal proteins. Okay, so that's how, that's that's what it is. I mean, it's it in a nutshell. So let me read something else to you real quick here. Y'all bear with me. This this is an interesting little show here. I mean, because number one, I'm going to start watching what I eat. Okay, we asked about the health concerns of live-grown meats. Really not been a whole lot of testing on it, so it says. It says, one potential health concern that stands out is the cancer-promoting properties. Here it is, right here. Right there. Cancer-promoting properties. You see that right there? Okay. Cancer-promoting properties of cells that proliferate in the meats. Consuming lab meats where such faulty cell lines may have unwanted effects on the human body. The exact effects remains unknown. Further testing needs to be done. March 21, 2024. Okay? So, they've already, they've already, uh, they've already got it going. So, lab-grown meats are safe to eat, the FDA says. The FDA and the Biden administration says that the biochemical engineered meats are safe. They have no organs, no steroid shots, no type of parasites, no injections, nothing like regular farm animals. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to keep raising my own cows, my own chickens, my own eggs, shooting my own pigs, killing my deer out here in the backyard. I'm going to keep catching my fish. Make no mistake, y'all, this is going to change life as you know it because it's going to put the farmers out of business, the fish is going to put everybody out of business. So they're already getting all these robots and everything and all these stores and everything to take everybody everybody's place. So let me show y'all a little something here. Y'all, y'all, let me show you a little something. See this right here? This is Campbell's Healthy Cream of Chicken. Campbell's Healthy Cream of Chicken. I bet you got I bet you got one of these in your pantry. Okay. Right here on the back of this can, I got a highlight. You may not be able to see it. Campbell Soup Company, Camden, New Jersey, USA. This product contains bioengineered food ingredients. The ingredients from granola, corn, and soy, as well as proteins and cancer-causing agents. It's genetically modified food group. Right there. Check it out. Go to your pantry right now and pull one of these out. This is Campbell's. That's a good one. This is Chestnut Hill Condensed Cream of Chicken Soup from the dollar store. Okay? On the back of this can right here contains bio... I don't know if y'all can see that. Contains bio-engineered foods. And what they're talking about, we looked it up. They are talking about the chicken. The little pieces of chicken that is in these soups are made in a lab. It is not real chicken. What y'all think about that? So I picked up a few other things. How many, how many men folk don't eat sardines? You know, we call them monkey. Well, you know, sardines. Well, I've looked all over this can. It has no bioengineered meat whatsoever. It's just byproducts of meat. This right here, is, if y'all ain't never eat none of this, if, if you like smoked fish, this is the best fish in a can you will ever eat. 
I love it. I could eat it all day long. It is smoked uh, herring fillets with pepper and brine and their own juices. They are delicious. They're high in omega-3 acids, and it's good for people with heart problems, believe it or not. So you ask where this comes from? You're going to be surprised. This, this is sold at Walmart, and, it's, and it comes from Germany. It's wild-caught herring out of the northeast Atlantic Sea. It has no biogenetic engineered foods. So, y'all look it up on the internet and y'all check this stuff out. Bioengineered foods. Read your cans and watch what you're buying at Walmart or the grocery stores because I don't know about y'all, but I don't want no meat that's made out of cancer cells. Just saying. I got enough problems on my own. So y'all check it out, and I hope this helps you guys out. And for y'all that wasn't aware of what's going on in our country and around the world, what they're doing, and, I mean, what's happening. And it basically boils down to this, people. There's not enough food to go around for the amount of people that's on this planet. So by it not being on this planet right here, I mean, we in trouble. Our kids is in trouble. Our grandkids is in trouble. We might not mean you might not see it at our age as seniors, but they gonna see it. Hey, you got this old tip from Grandpa Cotton. I'm gonna start making some more videos. I promise, and I'm gonna be checking on all y'all. So hey, remember take a kid fishing. Come on out to the fishing tournament June first. Get you a fish plate. If not, don't do. If you don't do anything, just hang out with us. Hey, I'm gone.